Lake Kivu in northwestern Rwanda. Fishing is the main industry here, but nowadays there's hardly anything left to catch. A high concentration of methane gas in the water is killing off the fish. A drilling rig out on the lake captures methane deep below the surface and feeds it through underground pipes to the mainland. It's the first time this complex technology has been used on open water. The gas is pumped from a depth of 365 metres at a rate of 20,000 cubic metres an hour. The process is closely monitored in the control room. An excess concentration of methane is both toxic and explosive. It's untreated gas. The gas is brought above deck and above the deck we treat the gas, we clean the gas, we wash the gas to remove all the impurities, all the other gases that we don't want, and we take only the methane. And the rest of the gas and the water, we bring it to a specific level where we ensure, still ensure proper lake stability. Electricity from the Kivu Watt power station is fed into Rwanda's national grid. The electricity generated here is enough to power 26,000 European households. That power is urgently needed. A majority of Rwandans still have no access to electricity. Local residents and fishermen, however, are suspicious of the project. The water colour changed and then the fish were gone. We think the power station's to blame. The Karongi administration and station operator are still evaluating an impact study. So far, the project has provided the region with revenue, new roads and 24-hour electricity for hotels. As far as tourism and the power station are concerned, we expect to see numerous benefits. We're getting more customers, like the workers from the power station. They all bring in foreign currency, and our sector profits from that. Power station operator Contour Global is already planning to send more workers to Lake Kivu. It expects output to increase four times by 2019. And despite safety concerns, even international environmental organisations have welcomed the project.